Maybe it just was taking too long. Let's see if it works now. Okay, so now I can write a comment. Alright. Please let me know how audio balances are. Pin comments. There we go. Alright, let's start. Layers of fear. Okay, let's make a new a new profile. Alright, what should my name be? Something truly terrifying. Like Michael. The music really is quite beautiful. weird because it, it gave me the selection sound, but it doesn't kind of say, you know, loading now. We're about to start. If I double click, that, that did it. Layers of Fear is a unique, immersive game experience in which every decision affects the narrative. As in life, it is the doors you open, the memories you take with you, and the shadows you explore that will define who you are. This may be our game, but it is your journey. It is so deep, I think. That feels deep to me. Well, that is quite, quite a sentiment to share. I agree with you. Okay, what's inheritance? Is that like a DLC thing? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, okay, let's do a new game. I know how you must feel. Thank Lost. you. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. This is about the game or me? You probably deserve it. <laughs> oh man, that's so but true. Even for you, there is still a way. Really? A way to bring it all back. It's not multi-level marketing, is it? The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Love. I finish it. Love? Okay, now must be, well, I am playing as a painter. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. Okay, so here I am. Now I have control. I can look around. Hmm, what should I do? Well, let's... So I've got my coats up here. Alright, let's uh... Let's see what we find. Is this my home? An artist triumph. Gallery opening. Wows, critics. Hmm, perhaps it's about me. Some call him the new Caravaggio. So I don't know the artist's names, I feel. Embarrassed about that. Others compare him to Van Eurerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrerrer
I've erased out the names of myself and my fiance. Looks like I have a very nice home. This is, this is reminiscence of, of The Sims. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you came so much for that room, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Okay, so keys are in the office. Oops, so we know that. And what's on my table over here? So right now we don't know what's going on. Dear sir, we would like to ask you cease bothering our y'all. We'd like to ask that you cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. Why would you share insults about your mother to your mother from some person? Anyway, all of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. I least um, uh, Alice, treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards. Best regards, really? After I insulted your mother? It's so inappropriate of me. Carl Denton. Pesky Pest. Pacification. That's a great name for a pest control co company. Okay, so apparently I thought there were rats around. Which totally reminds me of the story called The Rats in the Walls by H.P. Lovecraft. So we know that my character is kind of crazy and thinks there's rats around. Oh, this is very beautiful. What is this? I can't quite make it out. If anyone can read that better than me. Alright, so it's pretty. It's cool. Hmm, nice kitchen. These look kind of like show plastic fruit, actually. I guess people still use these, right? Just to make sure they're weighing proportions correctly, I suppose. I bet I can crouch with control. Nope. Alt. Shift. There's no crouch button, I guess. That's weird. It's gotta be a crouch button. Sugar. Alright, so it's a pretty pleasing kitchen. I'm, I better hurry up. I'm kind of just meandering. It does the thing that really kind of first was done by frictional games, where you don't just press a button to open or close something. You have to kind of drag it, and then it, it moves with inertia based on how fast or whatever. It helps get you immersed into the game. I really like that. So nothing too unusual about my kitchen. There's definitely a storm brewing. What's this? Hmm. What can I take from here? I have such twee stuff. Such quaint and, uh kind of pretty and sentimental stuff, but it makes sense. I am an artist. Alright, so this is locked. Alright, let's keep an eye open for anywhere that might be useful. Hmm. The hard thing about playing games like this is I just wish I owned a home like this. My apartment's so small. So is this just left on? That... It's so bad for the environment. Thank you. Can't, why would someone leave on? Ah, that's a clue, I bet. Because there's water all over the floor. So someone left the sink on, and that's why it was just going like crazy. I wonder if I flooded even more if something would happen. Alright, what's this say? 
Achilles prosthetics. Hmm, one below knee prosthesis. How the hell did they F up the length? That's funny. So I'm mad at, at the prosthetic length being being messed up. Just to warn you, this is a, you know, a horror game, so anyone watching this again, nothing bad has happened yet. But this is for mature audiences only. Whoa! That is so unusual in first person games where there's a mirror and it's kinda like not terrible in terms of showing you. That's really cool, so that's what I look like. Of course I'm wearing like a fancy waistcoat. Alright, let's turn off this water. Only have one planet. It's time to check out upstairs. What's this say? Been working all night. Don't wake me up. But who lives in there? Maybe that's my own room, and so I'm saying that to my to my, my butlers and my my staff people. So that's kind of a cool thing is you don't really know what's going on. But uh Huh. It's this old fashioned Victrola. Hey Donna. Thanks for joining us. We're playing Layers of Fear. It's, we're just near the beginning. It's this horror game about this artist who's haunted by, you know, visions and stuff, and I'm trying to figure out what I need to. So I couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. Okay, so that must be my fiance that I'm writing that to. So in this game, I have a beautiful fiance, a beautiful house, and I'm very talented. It's basically the exact opposite of Michael in real life. So it's, that's kind of neat. It's like a change of pace. What's the saying? The new face of music. A night at the opera becomes a night to remember. Might be, uh, might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredible, incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an outstanding, uh, astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skills in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. Oh, uh, Donna, side note, how's the audio sounding, by the way? Um, is it too loud with the voice for the, the game? Or uh, I need all the tips, because I'm still working out the AV stuff. Uh, I'll continue this note here. Stated famed pianist Daniel Richter, he was not alone in his praise, it seems. That even Anthony Giles, one of his... Oh, I keep everywhere we go, I keep blacking out my name. So it's like I'm trying to forget my name. Um, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face, so it must be that I'm an artist, but my fiancé is a musician. When asked at if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets those words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, Yes. We caught up with the star. Oh, cool. Thanks, Don. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's so tricky getting audio balances right, getting it to do the live stream properly. It's such a... I mean, once you get it all working, it kind of is easier to stay in place. Oh, this is cool. So there's like a... Oh, oopsie. Did I just bre break this or slam it closed? Looks like I did. Alright, so that was not responsible of me. What a beautiful grand piano. Alright, so some music. Wish I could read music. Four years of choir, and... I just know that the higher up... Oh, what was that? That scared me. Okay. I'm sure everything's fine. Nothing to be nervous about. 
Uh, I'm a little nervous. Did this fall over? Hmm. I hear something. Is there someone else in the house? God, they even do the lens flare. It's so cool. What's this? Little Red Riding Hood, I guess. Wow. Who drew these? So, uh, in this setting, basically all I know is that I'm like this kind of... a little bit of a pretentious artist who's kind of a pompous but I'm haunted in some way and I can't sleep and all I know is I want to finish this art that I've been working on and I am engaged this is a terrifying drawing and I mean ah, oh, there's a key I was looking for which key was that for again? I'm engaged to this beautiful musician I'm sorry I'll make it up to you one day tonight it's all about you and me let's make it special you promised. Did the same person write you promised as the top of the note? I don't know. My dear friends, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in heck I'm using this, and I already ag regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your beep together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone. Whispered Tale Publishing House. So for some reason, when asked to do an easy drawing for a Little Red Riding Hood story, I decided um, that it would be good to make it all horrifying. I'm, it's unclear how old I am. Earlier I walked in front of a mirror and my character was of indeterminate age. He could have been in his 30s or something, but he was dressed very very fancy. So, I don't appear to be especially young or old. So maybe this opens this one? Nope. So this key definitely opens something. But what? Maybe that downstairs room. Did I go over there? Let's see if I did. This actually looks kind of scary. Hear something. It's like a children's room. But did we have children? We didn't. Perhaps we were planning on having children. No, the, the, definitely a child drew this. Or Michael Weaver in real life, because I'm not great as an artist. It's so sad. I thought I was as a kid, and I was like, I'm going to be an artist. And was just really not great, but that's okay. Hmm. Alright, so it just seems like a standard children's room. Creepy dog painting with lots of blank space. So far, so good. Let's go back downstairs. Because I have a feeling this... These paintings are kind of creepy, too, to be honest. I don't know, I'm kind of scared to go down in the basement. Oh, the light is changing. See, I heard rats, so it's weird that the pest people were like, there's no rats. Definitely sounds like there's rats down here. A lot of locked doors and it's unclear 
which door this key goes to. Yeah, so there are rats down here. There's nothing too worthwhile down here. This key must go to something upstairs. Some games when you hold down a shift you can really run, but in this game it's it's more of a subtle jog. I should look up controls actually. Let's see what controls say. Settings, controls, um, uh, game. Yeah, I don't see a thing that's like keyboard bindings. That's all right. All right, that's where the key worked. Could I can go in here? This must be where where I do my art. Oh man, that's a rough piece of art. Oh jeez. So my guy was into. Oh, here we go. Here's a mirror again. Well, this one's kind of foggy, but you can kind of see. I don't know. He kind of looks like me in real life. You know, the, the Frankenstein forehead. Uh, it's unclear where my wife is supposed to be. I don't know if she's sleeping off in some room somewhere or if she's staying somewhere else. They basically start you with very little information so that you're kind of discovering your own life, even though obviously you would know it. But, uh, yeah, you kind of learn about it from notes. Lost it. You deserve. You deserve it. Lost, you deserve it. Finish it. Yeah. Alright, that's... So I'm supposed to finish this. Covered up for a reason. As an achievement. Steam on my... So I'm supposed to finish this painting. Alright, so there's wine in here. Or paint, I guess. It looks like wine. So maybe I love to drink while I'm painting. Hmm. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come and talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. So, it looks like I have kind of a, a rough relationship with my, with my SO right now. Maybe because I'm a bit of a jerk. That was indicated by the fact that I was so mean to the pest control people. Huh. So it's just like a bunch of discarded or poorly kept paintbrushes and stuff. Huh. So there must be some important thing I'm supposed to find or do in here. I feel like I looked at everything now. What if I just, like, uh, well, maybe now that I've looked at the portrait and that I've opened it up, something will change. It sure is storming out there, though. That is to be certain. Get it right this time. That would be a great tattoo for me, like on my forearm. Yeah, I've made some hideous art. Ooh, what's going on? The, like, light is changing. Wait a second. A like, door closed behind me. It doesn't usually do that. And now there's water coming in through the window. Oh, oh, jeez. Ooh. I didn't expect that at all. Uh, if I can open something, it'll have like a little white icon that I can, that I can manipulate it.
This room looks different now, doesn't it? So maybe I'm in some sort of hallucination or nightmare. This is not the same room. Save the date. Again, whatever, for whatever reason, I've crossed out the names of our, of me and my fiance, my fiance and I. Weird. Why would I do that? Oops. Ah, these old busts here. Wonder who they're out. Yeah, that's better. Get some light. Oh, paintings just kind of melted a little bit. They changed. Four, five, eight. That was scary and weird. That must be it. It's the it's the combination. Okay. Well, let's, let me look at the order they were in. Four, eight, five. All right. I love these kind of puzzle games because they're very much, you know, these adventure horror games. The mystery of them is uh, like an escape room. There we go. The past holds back. Look closer. Okay. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? That's such a vain and narcissistic way to propose to someone. That you are a piece of art and I want my name on you. So clearly my character is... A real narcissist. A beautiful ring, though. Man, if I had a ring like that, I would sell it and I would get a lifetime subscription to Grammarly. Premium. Okay, nothing too much in here. I don't think this door was here. Maybe it was. Everything's so psychedelic. Hmm. I wonder why there would be paint all over this chair. Some more notes. So for whatever reason, my character used lots of notes. That is a ornate and sizable globe. It clicks. I wonder if it's part of a puzzle. Let's see. Many books. Ooh, what is this? Oh, 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 I just fell. Oh, man. Did not expect that. Okay. All I need to do is get some light on. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh man. Okay. So I'm just losing my mind a little bit. It's alright. I'll just walk around here and see what I can find. That was... My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. 
A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now I can stall aunts. I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet here we are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. So she wrote that to her unborn child. And I guess this must have been my fiance because it is also, you know, someone who's a musician. But that was crazy that I fell into this room and that painting kind of came a lot to life at me. All right, so I got a candle here and a lever. Seems like I've got to pull it. What is it? Okay, so it opened this up. This is just where I came from. But now the painting's up here instead of that crazy baby one. So it's like I let the painting come out. I'm afraid to go look at it again because of what it did. All right. I suppose everything's fine. We've got some dominoes here. Do you hear that? There's some kind of scurrying about. More rats? This is scary. This is a different room completely. The faces have all been warped in some way. Like they're looking at me from different angles. Oh! Okay. That's not a good sign. Um, paint deep lies. But paint deep as in an adjective, so... Like skin deep. There's a note. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. So, <laughs> it sounds like my guy was painting women in erotic positions or sensual positions. Nothing wrong with that. But he was a real creeper about it. Especially with the ha ha ha. Any guy who's like ha ha ha. Is definitely a creeper. Okay. So this seems like a pretty normal situation except for the rats I hear. What's this say? Oh! Oh! Just melted away. Okay. Ah! Oh. oh man. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh man. Okay. Let's see what else I can see. Oh yeah, um, maybe it is like, perspectives are changing. It's so psychedelic though, because like, yeah, the house itself continues to warp and shift and change. Just more books in here. I get afraid to look one way and then turn around because I get scared something will be there, like before. Maybe this is my fiance crying in here. It's locked. Which way should I go? Left or right? I guess I'll go left first.
Okay. It's like a wine cellar type place. No harm, no foul. Hey, potatoes or onions or something. We like those. The more flooding. It can't have all be coming from outside. First step is the hardest. What do they mean? What's the first step? Toward what? So we're back in my kitchen, that's fine. There's more flooding again now. It's very beautiful. Did you see that? It looks like the fruit or the Oh no. Someone's banging on the door. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Oh Oh jeez. This can't be good. I gotta stay in the light. Oh. All of the f all the food is rotting. Maybe I'm supposed to go. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. Oh no. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Ooh. helped keep my hand steady. Oh gosh. So he wrote he he drew art on human skin as the canvas. Doesn't seem like I can go this way. It's like just darkness. Maybe I have to go backward. Oh man. Huh, what's this? Looks just empty so far. Okay. Hmm, well, here's something. My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already... We've read this already. I wonder why it's up here, too. Somehow this got entered into... It's my portrait is back. Why is it returned? Okay, it's changing in some way. Something's taking shape. It looks like flamingos. Shapeless dreams. Okay. Well, nothing wrong with flamingos. That's been one of my core values for a long time. Nothing wrong with flamingos. It's an old-timey elevator. Well, only one way to go. Up or down? Uh, or nothing? Why it won't let me go? Huh, I wonder. I have to close it first? Uh, it doesn't close on its own, it's very old timey. Oh, there's an on-off switch. What else do I have to do in here to make this work? Oh, I see. Okay. We're going up. I... I don't really know everything that that entails, but... Wait, I thought I saw something down that hallway. Catch? Something. And, okay. So, for whatever.
whatever reason, we're going up. It's unclear if this is a nightmare, a hallucination, or a haunting that's causing the hallways in the house to shift and change. Locked. Lots of locked doors. Huh. Must be some way to go. This one's open now. Creepy. Huh. Found the key. Oh. What a change for lock. That must be my a portrait of me, my fiance playing the piano. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Yeah, my character's kind of a, a weirdo. Oh, that works. All right, it opens this one. Let's see what we find. There's books. Oh, I've been here before. Now it goes upstairs. There's other doorways over here. Just a closet. Actually, there's so many cool portraits in this game. This must be the attic. Kind of reminds me of Betrayal at House on the Hill a little bit. There's a fire down there. Can't be good. So they say that the decisions you make about which doors to open, or even perhaps the order, change things about the game. Oh! Ooh. Turn into blue paint. Well, I have a very sprawling house, that much is sure. Hmm. A nice kind of foyer area. There's that stupid rat again. I'm assuming it's the same rat because, hey, it's like a big doily. Is this a doily? Does it still count as a doily if it's large enough to be a, uh, a tablecloth? I'm not a doily expert. I mean, I'm close. Don't get me wrong. I know my way around a doily. But, uh, yeah. I feel like we're going backwards now. Oh! Oh! What just broke? This entire room just broke. It's so unsettling and dangerous. I get why people would um, give this game mixed reviews because, you know, you're not making a lot of puzzly strategic decisions. It's melting. That's scary. But it's about the kind of going on the journey, I guess. Which is cool. It sounds like the journey is different depending on the doors you walked into. What's up with this room? Whoa! Did I just go through a portal? Oh, jeez. Unlock. I'm not undone. It cannot be undone. What's it though? What's what can't be undone? This globe appears everywhere. Maybe if I spin it a bunch more, something will happen. I wonder if I spin it backwards, if it will like give me a memory of back in time. so far. That's okay. Is 
something up ahead, very foggy. Hey, dog. What's up, buddy? Where are you? <laughs> hey, oh, you're part of the portrait. I see. Aww. That's the saddest thing. Hearing these ghostly whispers haunting at me. Okay. You won't you want this as well? What did I want? I must unsolve unsolve this mystery. Oh! Oh! Am I supposed to sit in this? Yeah, it's a really clever, innovative thing how they essentially change the shape of the environment you're in, and they change it based on where you open and go, and also even the direction you look. That's really what makes this innovative. So if you like try to open one door first, it'll be a different result than if you go for another door. Oh jeez. What am I supposed to do with this? I can't walk through you. Oh. Oh! Ooh. Alright, so that was weird. A lot of weird stuff going on. That rat looks like it got bigger, actually. The wheelchair was destroyed. The house is falling apart. So, so far we know that my character character is like a jerk painter real famous lavish home and lifestyle beautiful musician fiance but he's also a total narcissist and a real jerk about it the door opened that's creepy when it's locked, but then you go past it, uh, then it's, you can walk through it. Oh! No matter how many times I do something like that, it gets me. There we go. A little light never hurt anybody. Got a key. Oops. Okay. Lights are off. Let's turn the back on. Oh, jeez. I'm scared because of that foot. Oh, I hear knocking. Oh, man. Don't come in. I'm very afraid. Please continue a different direction. If you would. Because, uh, I'd rather not have monsters come after me, if that's cool. I'm not, look, maybe there's some clue on here that I can read. And then I see... Is it safe now? The paint tracks lead two directions. One goes through the wall. And it melts again. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. 
Am I being like... So I have a prosthetic kind of leg and my leg's jacked up. But uh... Otherwise I'm a famous artist. Okay. Alright, that worked. Still more flooding. A little bit of light. Whenever there's the option to add light, I usually add it. I'm often the same way in real life, but I'm realizing sometimes in the evening, it's good to turn off the lights even if it's not sunset yet, just for a while to rest your eyes as you're moving around your house or apartment. It can be a relief, and then when you turn the light back on, it can become kind of refreshing. Everyone's different, of course, though. All right, I took a record. Let's place it. Let's play this uh, record on this Victrola. There's so many different um, iterations of early music playing that that work in different ways, but they're all really cool parts of AV history. Dumbling all around, dumbling all around, dumbling all around, it's so funny. Dumbling here and there, dumbling everywhere, and I must declare. Okay. I stepped right on her toes. The song is about stumbling. So. And falling and rolling. So I'm guessing I need to avoid falling. Dumbling all around, dumbling all Prosthesis. Snatches. Why the darned leg? Insatiable jerks can't afford a new one. Um, so, again, I, I'm complaining about my prosthetic leg. And uh, this looks like my fiancé stuff. Hey, I'm not in the mirror this time. I've been in the mirror other times. That's weird. I have so many busts as well. What's, what are people in the mood to eat today? Like in real life, I mean, because I'm kind of hungry, but I'm not sure what I would like, you know? Um, so far, I haven't had an issue with knowing where to go. Oh, that'll just repeat that, okay. I hear more of the whispery sounds. But this is locked, right? So, uh, maybe there's just a key that I'm not finding. Stumbling all around. What has to do with stumbling? Shoes, feet, uh... Something... Maybe this stool, perhaps? Must be a clue about where a key would be. Something like that, you right? Try and break one of the vases? Good idea. Oh, sorry, you might have said that earlier and I might have missed it. Oh. Nah, it looks like I can't. Over here. Hmm. This is the first time I'm actually a little bit... S stuck. And I, there doesn't, again, most of these games have a crouch mechanism by which you can, you can crouch. This one doesn't. Stumbling. Oh, my prosthetic leg. Something to do with my feet and my leg. Let's go back and look at that again. That leg note. Or did I take that? Hmm. Maybe these open up. And you can't jump either. It's very straightforward. It also makes sense because my guy's not very good with his legs. Hmm. Every time I open these, they seem to close. Hey! Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Hmm. 
There's a middle drawer in the vanity, huh? Uh, that's a vanity, right? Ah, it doesn't look like it's accessible. But maybe things will be, um, different now that I checked out that violin, perhaps? Maybe I can go backward now. No, still not yet. Yeah, I might actually be stuck here. That's alright, it might be an okay place to pause it for now, I'm not sure. I could, I could look it up though, I guess. None of those are grabbable. Like Amnesia the Dark Descent, one good thing about these kind of games is they only give you so many things you could do. So eventually, just by process of elimination, you can usually figure it out. Oh, that you can flip sides on this. So maybe, or, or something, so maybe this changes. Weird, it's playing it backwards. Oh, oh, okay. The bed is melting. And so is the room. Alright. What is it melting into? I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Oh god. And put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Oh no. Why didn't I think of a syringe? <laughs> yeah, why didn't you? And also, why did you do this? Oh wait, what? Why would... So, this creepy person that I am apparently decided to use blood as part of the paint and paint on human flesh as canvas that's super creepy maybe this is the only thing that's not really messed up yet Oh, it shows that I'm holding that bottle, so I can use that bottle to do something. So what would the bottle of blood be good for? Hmm. I just really love spinning this thing. Hmm, that's funny. Okay. That's fun. Oh. Can I break through here? Nah. Oh man, I'm out of ideas again. Well, we figured it out last time by trying things out. Hmm. wonder if I can throw... Oh, you can zoom in. That's cool. I didn't realize that. So I wonder if I can use it. Somewhere I'm supposed to use this this bottle. This is a door again, right? It seems like it. Whoa, the room is, is healed. That's weird. It's like back to normal. But the picture is different, I think. Let me see. 
Oh, it looks like a guy killing someone else. Always a red flag. Okay, now I can leave. Alright, we successfully accomplished this room. Nicely done, everybody. Ah, it's the portrait again. Oh no, I'm not supposed to use this blood on the canvas, am I? I don't think this will be any different moment. Something I like about them changing the environment as you go is that it makes it so that you're not getting lost, basically. That's one of my number one things I dislike about games because it makes me feel foolish and dumb and frustrated when I get lost or I don't know where to go. That's not there anymore. I can't stand seeing you like this. You've not... You're not well. You've not well? You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Yeah, this guy sounds like... Yeah, it's still just flamingos. No problem. What's it turning into there? Uh, it didn't let me drink it, but I think I added it to the portrait. Now it looks like some kind of monster. Not flamingos anymore. It's in here. It's locked. Is this more blood? It seems like it. Ah, more human flesh. We know what he used that for. Ah, I needed a jar and plastic tooth, and I said, okay, so that's what he said earlier. Yeah. It's so crazy that he would do that. I don't like when artists do, like, weird stuff that could harm people for the sake of art. I don't think art is worth it. Like, we have plenty of art. There's not a shortage of art. I think that's something that artists often don't give, whether it's an actor or... A musician or something like that. These are all respectable, noble. Prof okay, there I am in, in the mirror again. So the mirror is now showing me again. And my prosthetic leg doesn't look like it slows me down too much, but I definitely go slower. But um, yeah, I think that with artists in general, we need them. They're good. They're useful. They make life more worth living because they give us something. Form emerges. They give us something you know, worth experiencing and expressing life, etc, etc, etc. But when people say, oh, artists are just as essential as anything else, I kind of don't think that's true. And this is coming from someone who is a theater major. So I can, I, it's like my own people, so I can say it. Hmm, the music is here. Ooh. Oh god, what was that? pieces of pottery or something. But yeah, on my soapbox, I'm basically saying that if we suddenly came to a point where no new art of any kind could be created, there is such a wealth of music and art and movies and television and plays that have already been made and written that are worth seeing that people haven't really seen before in many cases. They're unknown. Oops, something went wrong. Um, oh darn. Let me see if I can connect. Uh, how do I reconnect? Connect your live stream. Something went wrong. Please check your stream's connection. Alright, let's see. Let's try this again. I'm trying to reconnect. Let's see. There we go. Alright, that's better. Okay, uh, well, I was on my soapbox a moment ago, and I was saying how... Oh, man. Oh! Oh, jeez. What's pulling this piano? Some kind of force? Um,
There's a pathway over here. Ah, anyway, I want to finish my soapbox while I'm thinking about it. That there's so much independent art and music and culture and, and comedy and drama and of every sort of artistic expression that's already been created by humans from our current time all the way back to the dawn of civilization that if no new art was created we would be all right it would be fine we would have enough basically forever because it can be reused that's a great thing about art more than one person can appreciate it where stuff like being an electrician or a plumber or most other you know non-art jobs you you don't like you can't reuse it you need a new plumber you know it's not like oh plumbing's been done no more plumbing needed no you just you continue to need that so in that sense art is less essential as a thing to create because you can't reuse other stuff in the same way like like energy or fuel you have to keep getting new fuel whereas picasso it continues to exist the art so that's my view oh donna i think you're right i think someone hung themselves out the window on a cha chain connected creator's block oh man that's brutal oh and i'm back in a room by itself again and it's just a square room oh god and now another door, another passageway opened. So I get what people as a horror game, um, as a game would find this problematic because you only have so many... What's that over there? That's creepy. Looks like a person. That's super creepers. Oh, it's like a hanging thing. It had a key on it. That's good. Alright. So I get why people would say, Oh, this game, you don't make enough meaningful decisions. But it is about the storytelling, about the journey, etc. But, um... In addition to that... I think... As horror, it's it's not subtle. It's all about the in-your-face sudden changes and shifts. So I think that for people who want more subtle, slow burn horror, they won't like it as much. But I like both kinds, so I like this. Whoa, what the heck? The whole psychedelic thing of the room suddenly changing around you is really innovative and in a way they overuse it I think that was also a big criticism of this game is that it does get overused so June 9th is very special okay well, yeah just June don't forget right. um, I think it's true they do overuse it a little maybe that's my fiance I wonder but I think it's cool and I think it's cool to have a game that, whoa, jeez, that uses that. That little teaser game, PT, is the first game I can think of where you kind of, the room would change and everything as you went through it. Weird. It's like books were coming down from the ceiling, flooding the entire area. That's another interesting thing. People are like, books, I love books. Books are great. Books, 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 but they never read. Which is fine. It's fine to do either of those, but it's weird how much people, just the difference between those two attitudes, uh, the attitude and the actual behavior. Like people identify as a book reader, but they don't read books. And I guess that's fine, but it's weird how it matters to folks that it's an identity, part of their identity that they read. I think it's okay to say, I don't really read books. 
you know, maybe they read other things, maybe they don't read much at all and they listen to audiobooks, maybe they learn or explore in other ways. Maybe they don't learn or explore as much as I think they should, but it's their life. You know, so. But there is kind of a sense in which people feel that it would be better and more desirous if they identified as a as a book reader. Oh, this game is called Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear. And I think there's a sequel now, too. I think they said the sequel might even in some ways be more well received. But I love horror games, especially, um, It's creepy. Yeah, and this is not a slow burn horror game. The whole thing is like a creeper psychedelic experience. But it's kind of cool. It, it's, it feels more like a haunted house you would go to on Halloween. Where things are just immediately start getting weird. And they stay creepy and weird. You don't go to a haunted house on Halloween at like Six Flags or something. And then for the first 20 minutes, it's just like nothing but atmosphere build. Oh man, this phone's ringing, I think. It does make you lose some of that eventually because you get used to it, but it still remains cool. So I kept going in a circle, and it made it so that... Oh, hey! Talk about a smartphone, am I right? Aw, that's that's so sweet. Hey, are you able to post um, a picture of your cat in the comments of this stream? Like, I don't know if it lets you. I don't know how the live stream kind of behaves in that way. I doubt it was my voice that would make your cat sleep. I think that boy, um, cats just love sleeping. I'm going clockwise this whole time, I bet I have to go counterclockwise. And if you're not in... Ooh, weird. And counterclockwise made it fall. Yes, yes. I have to go back to where there's a phone. Alright, I can go a little faster by holding shift. It's my guy. Oh. Hello? Yes, speak. Yes. What? What? What fire? fire? Oh, God. Is she... she... Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. So these sound like they're memories. So like, what I'm playing in real time seems like, you know, what's happening. But these, when I look at an object, it's a memory. So maybe a fire hurt my fiancé, I suppose? I'm not sure. But now I'm I'm enough into the mystery that I want to see what's going on. Why is my guy haunted? Why did he decide to paint using human blood and flesh? Oh, this is a new option. Restless memories. Mm, that's scary. Oh! Oh! That scared me. Um, I don't want to go back there. I think I have to. What does it say? Thoughts. Something thoughts. Sacred thoughts, perhaps. It looks like maybe they dragged my portrait. Oh my gosh, it's so th I'm on the ceiling. It's dragged upside down. What does all this mean? Hmm. I need to figure out the answers. So apart from being a narcissist, my my artist character is just a total creeper. It's locked, okay. You hear that? You hear that? There's walking. 
someone else is around here. But who? Wish I could turn some more lights on. Alright, I might need some ideas about where to go next because, uh... Oh, this looks like something. What did that do? That opened this... I turned on those lights, good. It turned on those lights, but also this door appeared here. Hmm. I s oh, 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 oh. Okay. Alright, no need to panic. Everything's fine. What is that? Oh. Is, is he coming toward me? Like a ghost or something? Should I go toward it or back away from it? It's locked behind me. Guess I have to go forward. Alright, let's see. Oop, oop. Um, a silhouette. What, what am I seeing in that silhouette? Someone hanging or pe playing the piano? It could be anything. I shouldn't speculate until I get closer to look. I don't know what it means. It's definitely Creeper. Uh, it's really confusing about whether you can die or be... Oh! Or be injured. In most games like this, you can. Even in games like Amnesia The Dark Descent, where you can't fight, you can only run or hide, you still can be killed and killed easily. But in this one, so far, there hasn't even been a health meter yet. There's only a few games I know of where they're just literally just a walking simulator and you do the stuff, but you're not necessarily in danger in, in the sense of having to start over. Um, I think Dear Esther was one of those. It must be what they are. Memories. Oh, that, the silhouette itself is a memory, too. Did that close this all the way? Let's see. Oh, okay, that turns it to go down. Alright, now we're going downstairs again. But I do like that because it stays linear, it's more cinematic that way. Whereas, for both as a, as a game player and just someone who, you know, for streaming purposes, it's more cinematic and interesting when you can continue moving forward instead of have to kind of backtrack or figure out where you need to go next. So I like these kind of things, although there's none that are really quite like this. What's this say? So my name is blotted out again. In any case, as your lawyer, I would advise you refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I have gotten clients out of deeper crap than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while, and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system, a husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, and an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option, considering what you've been through lately. I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts. No more rambling. Better yet, no more public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your dra... Your da oh, daughter. So... Yeah, um, games like this are good in the sense that also, in one more sense, that you don't have to be like super s highly trained with hand eye coordination. You're just walking and moving and, and clicking. It, it's, a, it's an adventure game in the traditional sense. You know, for a lot of genres of things like board games or movies, adventure means something pretty straightforward and pretty much what you would expect. But in, um, in, Video games. Adventure game means a game that's not about action or combat, but it's about 
uh, puzzle solving. So that's kind of a cool thing. And in this case, the puzzles so far have been, you know, just not really a challenge. It's been more about just experiencing what you see. Glass on the floor. So, it's unclear if I'm just going crazy or if the house itself is haunted. We still don't know that for sure. But we know there's still a rat around. What's over this way? I can turn this light on. It's always good. Get some water going. Nah, we don't want to waste water. Well, it's just a game. Alright, the floorboard looks a little shaky there. Okay, so it's dead end over here. What's through here? It's my bathroom again, but it's filled up. Oh, what is this? Oh, gosh. What the heck? I hope that's a doll. Silent floaters. They clog the drains. Fur in the water. No baths for me. What a creepy thing. So why was a social worker saying that my daughter... That they're trying to take away my daughter? I must have done something terrible. And I wonder what it was. I hope it was... I hope I didn't use my daughter to get those blood samples. To do the painting. That would have been atrocious, but we know that my guy, he's kind of atrocious. Oh, I can move this. So, we're playing as a narcissistic artist who's clearly losing his mind, painted things he should not have painted, and did things he should never have done. What's behind here? It's just, just another f food pantry. Things are getting more and more weird. It's more light switch. Locked. Okay. Hmm. What's in here? Locked again. It's weird, the light switch doesn't seem to do anything. It just puts a little light on the actual door itself. Isn't this where I came from? But now there's more doors to go through. Weird. Turbo weird. Super weird. Oh, I wonder if my wife... Well, so far she seems like she's innocent. But... They do did say she's difficult. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hallucinating here. Losing my mind. What's going on? Oh. Alright. Let's just try to keep our footing. As we experience this psychedelic hallway vision. I'm sure... Going down into the depths of the basement, I think. Bowels itself. I feel like we're getting closer again to where my portrait is, which is getting more and more built up. Hmm. Whoa. Why'd that melt? That was weird. Why did it make the stool move? Stool? Yeah, I'm saying that right. Every time I press a button, something else breaks. Should I keep doing it? I kind of want to. Just to see. Whoa. Zero G. But only for some items. What is this? No, but, uh, Dinah, I think the way that that note was worded, 
was implying that, like, the social worker was saying to take them away after my fiancé died. I think my fiancé passed away. These things, they float and then they fall again. But I'm not I could have misread that or misunderstood that. I need to find a way out of here before it gets too kooky. Oh, oh, okay. Where am I now? Go toward the light. I think. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw. Boiled it. Then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Oh, man. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Oh, jeez. So, I... Um... I used bone to make undercoat. That is insane. There's, there's candles around here. Yeah, I think a big part of this is like um, inspired by Dorian Gray. In fact, at the very, very beginning, they had a quote by Oscar Wilde from the from Dorian Gray. So I think they're definitely going for that the kind of thing. Huh. Where to go? Alright, so I have this piece of bone. But I'm not sure what to do with it. Well, here's the main table, I guess. Hmm. I can barely see. Clear of where to go. Maybe I should turn the gamma up, the brightness up, because I can't even see what's an obstacle. And this looks different, right? Nope, that's the same thing. Oh, here's upstairs. This is a good sign. It's slowing down my movement, though. There must be something affecting me. It's the portrait again. Oh no. I bet I have to add this bone to it. There I am once again. I really do, I mean, that sounds narcissistic of me. Everything's about me. It's not, of course. Um, but I do think it looks like me, or maybe a slightly older version of me. Uh, from Not that it's clear or anything, but just based on the, the big Frankenstein forehead that we both have. Which is fun. I take pride in my, my Frankenstein forehead. Alright, I guess we have to add this bone. What is it becoming? Hmm. Hideous. Truly hideous. That's locked now. It wasn't locked before. Oh, but this is a new thing. Yep. So each of these items I find, that's part of it. So I found three of six of them. I bet the painting is complete when we find all six. What if you fail? I don't know. Alright, let's see. Oh! Who's this? Who's that? Oh yeah, it does kind of look like Abe Lincoln a little bit. It's like a track of... What is this? It's like a sludge? I'm gonna close this door. The room itself is saturated with this weird paint effect. 
What if the painting itself caused something supernatural? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, it, it, I think so. Or at least all the major items that have a memory associated with them. This is similar to the room before, except now it looks like my daughter has drawn on the walls. And not bad, too. This is a fine, fine animal. Drunk. Selfish. Delirious. So I guess those are what I am. And the door went away. Okay. And a house appeared here. That. Now both doors are gone. This definitely counts as delirious. This is not good. You didn't kill a dog, did you? It looks like that. Okay. What's behind me? Ooh. Oh. That was terrifying. So, um, some sort of teddy bear ritual, I guess. Crows. All right, teddy bear. Just a birthday hat. Hey, and a sad face what inside. What is that? Wait. What day is it? It's Sunday. You mean I? Oh. Well, why didn't you come and get me? God damn it! You know how I get when I'm caught up in my work! Oh, I missed my daughter's birthday, and then I got mad at her about it. That is not nice of my character. Oh no, I, you, Donna, you might be right. What if my daughter did commit suicide? because of how selfish my character is. I wonder how old she was, or is. Chains all across. Um, let's go this way. I love that door, that drawer opening sound. It sounds so similar. To, I, I almost wonder if it's the same effect they use in like Amnesia: The Dark Descent, but it's very satisfying as a sound. What am I seeing here? Like a lamp, I guess, or something. Okay. Sweet Jesus. Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Okay, so my fiance must have bought these shoes preparing for the baby. Yeah, this is a cool game adventure. And it's quite a mystery that we're unraveling. It's a very short game also, we're probably over halfway done. Let's see. Hmm, what's over here? It's like a heart beating. That's weird. Something drawn on this chessboard. Oh, checkers. They instantly took shape or put themselves back into place, except one that disappeared when I tried to touch it. Another checkers, checkers pieces. Whenever I try to pick up a checkers piece, it just disappears. 
This game is also interesting because it's unusual for your hero that you're playing as to be an unlikable, pretentious narcissist. I mean, often when you play as like an anti-hero, it's still a likable anti-hero. Like maybe they're just not very social, but they otherwise are in some way re like seem likable. Uh, sure, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to, Donna. Yeah, it's called um, Layers of Fear. It's on Steam. Do you have a, a PC or, or a computer? Um, you can get it on Steam and highly recommend it for sure. And also what's cool is when this finishes, if Facebook does what it's supposed to, it'll save it as a video that everyone can, can watch. What is going on here? Whoa. This is psychedelic. I think I just died or something. That was freaky. Yeah, layers of fear. A good thing to do is when you're on Steam, if you make a Steam account, that's free to do. But um, you can you can make it so that you add it to your wish list, and then it tells you when it goes on sale. Because a lot of times there's a sale, and it says, "Ah, it's cheaper now." And then it's easier to easier to get. Talking behind our backs. Well, no one likes talking behind our backs. Except people when they're doing it. Then we love gossip. Can I like these candles? No. Crayons. I wonder what century or decade, rather, this takes place in. Because there's a lot of really old stuff, but I didn't know crayons dated back that far. It's the same room, basically. There's other uh, ones, Donna, that are called, you know, that are also called walking simulators in the sense that. But, well, what creepy doll? Okay. Floating crayons. Latest color, I guess. It's the floating variety. Hmm. That doesn't seem to change. Locked. Oh. Oh. What is that? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Some more dolls. Oh, you're right. I am being haunted by, by my daughter. Yeah, some other great games is Amnesia The Dark Descent. And and uh, games basically, if you just look up games like Amnesia, you'll see a lot of great ones. This one requires pretty good computer specifics to play well. Um, so, how, uh, if you don't mind me asking, you can private message me. How new is your computer? Because uh, it may be good for this game. It may you may want one that's older, like Amnesia, possibly. Oh. oh. Oh, gosh. Whoa. What am I seeing?
crazy hallucinations? Or was it all real? Hey, it looks like it was my daughter running across. Where'd you, where'd you go? I should keep following her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find you. I'm coming. So weird. I must have to go a different way. I must have to go where she came from. It's just a wall. This way, perhaps? Oh, that was off-putting. Okay. What's over here? So many dolls around here. Oh, I don't like that. Be safe, don't run into things. Let's go this way. Is that... There's redness up there, red. I see. Oh, goodness. What is this? It's like a deer, but it's a doll. Okay. Hey, I don't blame you. Computers are super expensive, and there's so many things that we can do with just, you know, our smart TV and phone. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> uh -huh. That's creepy. Where am I now? Hmm. Things look pretty plain. Yeah, I guess that is a criticism I can see for this game. Because it changes and they use that effect so much takes away a sense of concreteness to dangers or threats. But it still is cool. Whoa, is that blood? It's my daughter, I think. Hey, what is it? What are you drawing? It's that ring around the head. Oh god. What was that? Let's go past that. I don't like that door. It's in here. Three directions I can go, is what that is saying. What, there's a direction over here? No, there's not. There's just... No, the window, I guess, is one. It's back in my child's room. Okay. Can't tell what's different, but something is. The ball just rolled out of there. I guess I'm stating the obvious too much, but still, it's hard not to remark. There's a doll down there. Was that there before? Let's look in these drawers. What's this? Is it like a, a oh it's like a, a, a wind up toy thing. Maybe it'll wind something up. Let's look for a toy that it might work with. Perhaps this. I guess it's a jack in the box, so. 
It didn't go anywhere. Didn't didn't pop up. Hmm, perhaps this Oops. Locked. So there must be something I can do with this wind-up device. There must be a toy that it plugs into. Wonder if it goes into the doll. No, it doesn't seem like it does. I guess I did everything I could with, uh... Are these two drawers I can open, or just one? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, nothing there. Oh, maybe it goes in this carousel thing. Yeah! That's it. There we go. That's straightforward. Yeah, I'm familiar with this. <laughs> Finally, the jack in the box went. Oh, and now the painting is melted. Oh, God. Oh, you were right about the item. Oh, jeez. What happened here? She's in a wheelchair? She's covered in blood. Little, hush little baby, the night is stark. Stars fade above you, the room goes dark. Whoa. Mama used to come to tuck you in. Oh gosh. Now she's nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ah. And. It's normal, I guess. And I'm back in control. But this is all different. It's like eyeballs. Locked. No wonder. Well, the jack in the box, now that it's open, the doll is gone. Fluffy. No toys allowed. Fluffy fakers. Mocking me. Lying still between toys. Fluffy fakers mocking me. Lying still between... So something that's between toys, but it isn't really toys. Maybe that's what... I'm looking for. I only see the teddy bears as being fluffy. Something changed, I just heard a whoosh. A whoosh is usually a sign of change, I think. Pretty sure. Hmm. hmm. 
What's this say up here? Be aneg a beer. Nah, I can't. The light, I can't quite read it. Let me just turn this light off. This was a special brush. Uh huh. Like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. Oh no. It sounds like I made a creepy hairbrush out of someone's hair. Possibly my daughter's or a doll. Creepy. So I have this hairbrush now. Ah! Ah! Oh man, what, what have I done? Let's go forward. They want the... That's weird. Why would someone destroy those? Alright, we have to complete this. We're getting closer. Ah, oh, nightmarish. And sure enough, it's over here. Yep, there's two left. Two left to find. What a hideous drawing. Gone. It's a complete circle. Is it just here? Locked. Is the door? Locked as well. Hmm. What am I missing? Noticing. Lights just turned off, and the door opened. Creepy. Maybe I should go in there. Locked. I'm just stuck in here. Delirious. Easy to forget. Drunk. Time. Time. Let me. Oof. Oh. Remember, each mistake. Going in circles. Okay. Paintings falling down around me. So that's consistent so far. Restless memories. It reminds me of like a magic trick. So still more paintings, still more toppled furniture and so forth. And even some... Yeah, everything's just becoming warped and distorted. It's part of it.
make up your mind. Regarding what, though? What does this say? June 17th. He's on about the darn rats again. I don't think I've ever seen one. Uh, that doesn't stop him from laying out traps all over the place. He claims he can hear them in the walls, and that there must be hundreds of them. God, I freaking hope it's true. Excuse me, I yawned there. Ah, um, sorry today. I hope they crawl out at night and eat you in your sleep. You cruel, self-obsessed, pathetic drunk. Whoa, I wonder if this is my fiance later after she realizes what a jerk I am. Because my character does seem like a cruel, self-obsessed, pathetic drunk. Who's this? Okay. Hmm, yeah. Ah! Ah! Get off me! Ah! 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 Who is that supposed to be? What's this? It's a rat. There are rats around. Unless I'm hallucinating. What are the chances of that? I seem perfectly normal. be a key around here somewhere. Okay. I always go back this way. That's locked. Maybe it's down in this stuff. Yeah. Got it. gotta be the same rat, I always see just one. It's like it's leading me somewhere. But this time, it doesn't scurry away as quickly. It's like the paintings I've done are distorting reality itself. It's trying to show me something. the way right I will follow you I can't go up there oh. you not hey careful I don't know if that was your fault that second part Dog, cat, rat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, hey, alright, the colors match up. Cat goes to two, dog goes to four, rat goes to nine. So two, four, nine? Right? Do I need to know that combination? Two, four, nine. Must be something in here. There's also like a maze a little bit.
There's no way they would just have me be trapped in here, I don't think. Must be something I can interact with. What's this? So 249, we know that's a code. We think. I think. Oh, duh. Right, okay, so here we go. Two. Four. Nine. Did that do it? Doesn't seem to. Uh, let's look at that again. Cat, dog, rat. Is it like maybe alphabetical order? Two, four, nine. Oh, uh, yeah, two, four, nine. Oh, maybe it'd go in order of size. You know, like rat, cat, dog. So, nine, two, four. Let's try nine, two, four. Two four nine nine two four. Uh, I wonder. It's like alphabetical or something. We follow the the path. Because the red goes to the nine, right? And the and the yeah, you're right. It needs a combination. Oh, I'm duh, uh, that blue looks like a four. It might be a seven. That's also bluish. This might be like more of a. I'm looking at the colors wrong here. I think. Let's try two seven nine. Two nine seven maybe. Hey, hey, what? Two five nine? I don't get how two five nine would have been it. Let me look at that thing again. Just because I'm I'm curious why two five nine. Five. See, there's no color adding up to green there. Right? Um, because black for two. Rat for. Nine, but dog, you know. Two. Yeah, I have no idea why it would be two five nine instead of two four nine or two seven nine. But hey, that's all right. We got it. I'd rather be lucky than smart. I think I'd rather be smart than lucky. I guess I'm not sure. Fire. What is this? <laughs> yeah, it could be six six six. Be so obvious though, right? July 19th. Judging by the silence that has now fallen over the house, I can safely assume that he is finally passed out, undoubtedly surrounded by empty bottles and tattered pieces of canvas that have become his preferred bedfellows. Every time it happens, I pray it will be the last. I pray fervently, passionately. Our Lord in heaven, let him crack his head open and the rot spew out. Let him cut his wrist on the glass and the red bile flow. Let him choke on his own vomit, so that he may, so that we may all find peace. For if you don't one day, 
I will find the courage to walk down the steps and to end him myself. You of all should know, it's not the lack of will that stays my hand. Hmm. So, guessing that's my fiance. Looks like she was not so happy with me. Well, disappointing women is what I'm best at. Let's see. All the doors are open. Okay. Oh, 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 that almost got me. Ouchies. It's this darn globe again. Alright, where to? I wonder what if it's metaphor or if it's meant to be more like supernatural the destruction of the house like it's unclear how much is meant to be hallucination and how much is meant to be haunting or ghostly like is this psychosis or is this um, a, a haunting or both or a ghost driving mad That one painting, I remember it, it got especially large. Painting within a painting. It's getting farther away. It's becoming the hallway. No, it's not, it's an illusion. Oh, good gracious. thing is like delirium in a sense hmm is this the same room hmm. hey sorry I haven't written in a while I've been swarmed with work I gotta tell you your last letter was troubling to say the least I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings why would she do that the lady in black Especially, that was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. And then I don't? Oh, I see. I responded back. I don't. I don't believe in me. So I must have been so obsessed with work because my new stuff just was not being liked as much. Meanwhile, my fiance burned some of my paintings. So that would bother anyone. You know, you think everyone's got such a happy life, but then the fian Hey, is it the... Nah, that's, that's not it. But then it turns out there's... Everyone's got trouble in their life, you know? Oh, hey! Oof. Okay. It's like the... It is all... Is it all worth it? 
Oh, gosh. What? I don't know. This wheelchair keeps arriving. For some reason, it makes me think that my fiancé was in a wheelchair at some point, or I was. I wonder if that's her. What's over here? Hey there, princess. What? Oh, <laughs> this is daddy's medicine. Whenever daddy's hurting, this helps the hurt go away. Mm. No, don't touch that! Oh god, I'm so... Wait, I'm sorry! I I'm sorry! Oh no, it sounds like while being drunk on whiskey, I may have hurt my daughter. It sounds like I was a drunk jerk. You know, I'll tell you something about alcohol. It's definitely a very pleasant feeling, you know, the euphoria and the sense of both physical pain relief, anxiety pain relief, and even a kind of energy that comes from both. But too much of it is very bad for you, and there might be some benefits to having small amounts, but for many people, there's a lot of health benefits of having none. Don't look back, but I want to look back. What if I choose not to? I can't help it. Ah! Oh. So I think when that happens, that actually does count as a death. Like, I think that's going to be a mark against me in the final score of the game. And, uh... Based on the decisions I made. Because I felt like kind of like a KO or a death. Oh, jeez. If it's hurting someone, I don't want to use this. I don't know why I had to do it twice to figure A little pain goes a long way. God, is this a torture chamber device? Well, what if I make it go upwards? Would it help? No, I can't push it upwards. You can only pull it down. Okay. Do I have to keep using it? I'd rather do something else instead. I guess I have to. Okay. That's what I say. Well, I can't hear. So we keep going. I don't think um, I handle my body tolerates alcohol as much as it, as well as it did in my earlier 20s for example because i don't know i think a lot of yeah what decade are we in with this old timey elevator all right it's closed up or down let's, let's go up they say all the decisions you make matter and i choose up this up is more positive. Hmm. This right, the light is Okay. So the light's going on and off of its own accord. Something's getting closer, I guess. But what? 
Oh. Am I supposed to go through there? I don't know how. What's happening? Am I falling? Well, here we go. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Alright, just a few bruises. No problem. Nothing a little whiskey can't fix. So, here we go. What's this? It won't open. It's like the door has no way of opening. What's up there? Hey, this maybe this will do it. This feels like a last one. Maybe it's a puzzle of some kind, like the order you do it in matters. Now they all are blocked off now, there must be some other... Ah! It's weird how not just what you do and what you interact with, but where you look is so... Um, key in this game. That, I think that's what is revolutionary about it, is the, the looking. It's not just something that affects what you see as the player, but it also uh, changes gameplay itself. What's this? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the cock. The clock struck one. Four ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Man, okay. So, something about this. Oh, the, it struck one, so one o'clock must mean something. Maybe there's something that's like moving a clock to one. What's this? I'm not sure. Ooh, ooh. More memory remnants. Okay. So, not going that way. I have a feeling we're closer to another clue. I don't know why, but that's the sense I get. The phone's ringing. Something's ringing. Different tone. Maybe it's like, um, the pitch changes based on how close you are. Like Marco Polo or something. But with pitches. What is this? talking to you. Um, four, one, one. Information, please. Alright, that's not the secret. We have to figure out the phone number we need to call.
More booze. Hmm, pipes and tobacco. Wasn't exactly a healthy lifestyle person, it seems. Cool old-fashioned, you know, writing and calligraphy stuff. What's this? Babyface, the monster painting. Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. The basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must. Um, if one is even to try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstractions. Abstraction aficionados. Aficionados. I can read. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in uh, the painting excels in um, in a hideous. Okay, so so uh, I guess a more recent painting I did they did not like. Oh, that rat was there. Now it's gone. So I have metals, so maybe I did something metal-worthy before. So that's nice. I need some kind of phone number. Oh, 363, right? It's gotta be it. Do it. I guess not. What's the phone number I need to call? Maybe there's other numbers around. So 363 is written up here. Let's look around for other numbers. Maybe they're written somewhere. 463. Is that a 4? Oh yeah, maybe it was in a war or a battle that I lost my leg. Four six three three six three. Let's try 463. Oh yeah, maybe it was a five. Let's try that too. Oops, uh, I think I did that wrong. Hang on, start over. Five, six, three. All right, let's try um, three, six, three. And uh, no dice yet. It sure looks like it's just saying 363, doesn't it? Maybe there's some clue in the... Up on the babyface thing. Um, anything that like, sounds like numbers or numerical. A week-long marathon of not very well adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Oops. I, I don't see anything that kind of gives an idea of a number. Unless there's... Let's look. Like shoes or boots, I guess. Metals. Nothing obvious there. Oh, open. Hey, no, open, open. Ah, uh, yeah, right, right, right. That's just my booze. Okay. And I just opened that. Let me turn on some lights. Maybe that'll help. Let's see. Can't leave. Uh, 
What if we just do it over and over again? 363. 363. 3. 3. 6. 3. Well, I guess phone numbers aren't nine digits long. But still. Oh man, this might be the first one where I'm truly stumped. We just don't have enough numbers. What 363? Nah, even backwards or whatever. Hmm. Do not know. I can't get to these notes either. What's this? It's just a coin. Okay. I need more numbers around. Well, I, there was a one earlier. Set a clock to one. That was a thing. I don't see any clocks, though. I guess I should just look up online what the phone number is. Maybe I can... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's part of the book that you used to open this thing. So what book was that? Uh, nothing clearly on it. Okay. Because if it had, like, the other parts of it, that would explain it. It sure seems like the main thing to go off of is this... Three is not here. AP. Hey, whoa. Um, piece all vote of seven. There's numbers over here on the left side. Seven, 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 one to five. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe that's what I need to look for, because it's like completing it. So seven seven. Uh, and the piece vote of seven seven, because that's not even written on this part. One six three, one three six three, maybe. Possibly. I'll try that. Um, let's see. I'm going to write down this. Oops. Uh, se uh, seven, seven. All right. Seven, 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 one, two, five. All right. Maybe that will help me remember that. Because why else would that be there? Seven, 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 one, five, three, six, three. Does that work? It it went away like it. No, nah, I would have rung. Let's try the other way around. We know that's the right number of numbers. So three, six, three, seven, 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 one. Ah, that's so. It's one number too many, actually. Did I write that down wrong? I might have. Seven, seven. Peace vote of seven. I don't know. You know what? I'm looking it up. Uh, layers of fear. Phone number. What is the phone number? Eight, okay. 
Um, Well, this, all right, so from what I saw, this website says the following list shows you all the phone numbers you have to use. So one says 354, but I don't know why that would be. All right, that seemed to do nothing. One said three, six, three. We tried that already nothing and one said 853 all right so something is off here uh, let me look up again okay um, layers of fear phone behind book shelf Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence Try only two sevens instead of three. Okay. But it's wordy and hard to read. It undermines the writer's message Let's and try the word it. choice is bland. Grammarly's cutting edge technology helps right. you craft compelling, understandable writing seven, that makes an impact on your reader. Seven. Much better. Are you ready one, to give it a try? Installation is simple and five, easy. Visit Grammarly.com today. It like stopped me there. Oops. Okay, let's see. I, I've got this YouTube thing going. All right. So this is gonna say what to do. What numbers are you dialing? Three, six, three. All right. So we'll see. What's he dial here? Three, six, three. Oh, then he goes somewhere else. Oh, okay, you know what? Um, you know what I think is going on? I think what's going on is that we have to dial this phone, uh, uh, then another another phone starts ringing behind a different part of the bookshelf, and that's what we have to do. So let's do three, six, three, and then we have to listen to another part. But I don't hear any other phones ringing, you know? That's the problem. What if I dial it, but then I just let it go? I don't, like, hang it up. See, I don't hear any, hear any ringing. Something... It's gotta be behind one of these walls. The book ladder. Maybe. I 
I thought maybe if I give it a little while, you know, it would start ringing. Alright, let's look for books that are poking out. I don't see any pokey books that are grabbable. None so far. Maybe it's not the kind of mystery we're supposed to be able to solve. Or maybe we start with one of... Uh, What about 7715? Hmm, maybe turn off all the lights. Was there a book on the floor? Let's look for it. Hmm, and nothing I can grab though. Let's try 715. Alright, you know what? Let's. I'm looking up one more time. Layers of Fear Bookshelf Phone Puzzle. Yeah, this one's a real puzzler. Sorry about this as I try to look up. Bookshelf. You can use 911 to unlock. Whoops. Stop. Alright. But the proper number. Okay. Now this is like, a t I think this is talking about a different part of the game where there's another phone that I could have answered. So, alright, this, this is it, okay, so. After you find it in a short call from your wife, you need to find another number hidden somewhere in the study and call the phone. Alright, so this is weird for them to have a wiki here, but then not tell me. The study. Yeah, this is super riveting. Um, let's see. Did I try 354 already? It sounds like it's supposed to be a three digit number based on what I'm seeing, but they're giving me, you know, disparate info about that. I've already tried, I don't know what, why. Alright, let's try that, that one. That might be... Uh, you know, it stops at four. Like, once you do a fourth number, it's like, nope, no more. So it must be a three-digit number. Um, oh, you know what? Well, actually, I'm not sure. What happens if you just keep... See, if you just keep doing numbers, it doesn't stop you. So there was something special about what we did earlier. Let's try that again. 7751. 7751. Seven, Alright, nothing yet. Let's try 363 after it. Hmm, hmm. Maybe eight five three. Eight five three. 
Oh, that's not working either. And like it's like a real puzzle enough to try to even figure out. Because in theory, another phone is supposed supposed to start ringing behind one of the walls. Maybe the real answer is there is no answer, and it's just not possible. But I'm sure, I'm sure there's there's some kind of way. Um, I can just try every possible number. I mean, a uh, three-digit combo. And how many are there? All right, let me look this up one more time. Then I might call it quits for now. We've gotten a lot done. Layers of fear. Phone number. Okay, let's see what we got. Dial 363 and ring another phone. But where is it? Look up. You will see that the room is made up of multiple stacked on each other. Look around the room and return to the place where it was. So, if this is correct, I have to dial 363 and then look up? That would be weird. See anything up there? About eight, five, three. No, nothing there. Man, I think they're talking about a different part. That's okay. You know what, I think I'll do, maybe I'll do another live stream at some point where I finish this one up um, after I figure out this this puzzle. Thanks so much for joining, people who stop by, people who watch this later, and especially Don for helping me out with a lot of the cool puzzles and stuff. I appreciate it a lot. I'll probably get some coffee here and call it quits, but yeah, it's a short game because we're like two-thirds or three-quarters through it, and even with getting stuck, it was less than three hours, so it's... A short, short game, but it's kind of cool, kind of psychedelic. Pretty awesome. Yeah, thanks so much again for checking it out uh, with me. And I think once I end this live stream, the video should remain available. And, and perhaps I'll even download it and put it on my YouTube channel as well. So that would be cool. Thanks so much. Have a great evening. We'll see you. Bye for now.